Good morning, YouTube. This is Sarah. <sighs> we got mugs today. We got handles to put on the mugs. They're perfect consistency. Ready to go. I have to put my carrots on the wheel, carrots of clay for the handles. Just put some motherboard in the coffee. working in Pasadena, California. So there's two ways that I know how to do handles. I make a carrot, I stick it on a mug with some spit and some water. And I pre-pull the handles and I arrange them in a shape and then I put them on a board and I attach them. Um, today I'm going to pull off of the piece a handle and then stick it. Um, do that with a sumi brush. I do that with a bowl of water in front of me. Like that. I like to use fresh clay for my handles. Just fresh from the block. So I roll a snake and then I slap it, I drop it and I slap it into a carrot shape so that it's tapered. Peace. This 
decide where I want to put the handle. I want to put the handle right here and pull it off right there. So I'm going to take some water and I'm going to spit on it. Some water. Finger. Spit on it. take this handle and then put some water and I attach it where I spat on it and I curve it stick it on really stick it Stick it, mermaid tail it, thumb it, like that. I'm gonna take this off. Stick my finger inside here. Let's do another one. I think that one had a little bit too much clay, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get as much clay for this one. Chunky mugs. Like I'm chunky. I think the best pieces of pottery are the pieces that have mistakes. I think they're more interesting. I like to leave a little bit of mistake on my work. Not too much, but just a little. Okay, so here's my carrot. I'm gonna stick it on this one. I want it right here. Get some water, get some spit on it.
fresh looking. Super fresh and I'm gonna stamp this area. Wow, the, the inside of this piece is so beautiful. I just have to show it. It's that mark from my chop mark to the inside. here right there that's where that handle is going to go
more left. One more left. Same process, just make a carrot, roll it out, slap it, drop it. Pound it, slap it. This is what all my teachers taught me. Decide the placement of the handle. Where do I want to put this handle? Some mugs are in the middle, some mugs are on the top, some mugs are uh, on the lip of the mug. I mean, there's so many options. I like my chop mark to show to the to the left of the handle usually if I'm you know not too picky about it. So I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah. This is a bowl that I made in 2005 with Philip Cornelius and Jim Gonzalez in Pasadena and Phil Cornelius at the time was just learning how to salt fire with clay that he dug from Lake Arrowhead in a caldera. So he was digging his own porcelain. Um, and he was showing work at the Armstrong Gallery and I would go to his openings. Um, and he was getting work into the Louvre. He was getting these giant uh, battleship-sized teapots into the Louvre. All that. So I remember that. And then my favorite teacher was the hippie. Um, because he let me do whatever I wanted. My favorite person is often the hippie. Okay. Here we go. Get your hand wet. Pull it. This one's hard. But this one's hard because it's tiny. It's important to have clean water um, when you're pulling handles.
right, this is this video. I could talk a little bit about um, drawing mugs. So you want to dry your mugs for 24 hours after you make the handles in a dry cabinet or 15 minutes after the handles are on, I put them in a dry cabinet for 24 hours. It's usually good for all attachments that you make, um, sprues, um, anything that's attached, plates. Um, I also do the same thing after I trim them for 24 hours just to be safe, to prevent cracking. Um, that's it. See you later. Bye.